my YouTube channel and for today we are cooking with Mitch! Ta -da -da. We are back in my kitchen and for today I decided to make chicken meatballs pasta and this one is super healthy, quick and something that you can prepare for the entire family and okay na okay to for your kids kasi lalagyan natin siya ng vegetable without them noticing it, diba? Ito yung tricks na ginagawa ko for Anika whenever she doesn't eat her vegetables. Specifically, zucchini. Hindi mahilig sa zucchini anak ko. So, when I put them sa pasta sauces, it's a win, win for me. Okay, so now let's go ahead and show you the ingredients. All right, so we're gonna need, you can use whatever spaghetti you want. Um, I'm using this chickpea. Uh, pasta. It has extra protein in it and it's, I guess for us, I find that it's more healthier than your regular starchy spaghetti, right? I am getting this. I'm using the organic tomato and basil paleo chicken meatballs. Parang mabilis, right? So I got this at Costco. So kung if you are in Manila or the Philippines, you can just make your own meatballs or you can find some things to store that is similar to this. Kung wala kayong turkey, find chicken meatballs or even beef as long as it's like 80% lean, right? So, para naman mas mabilis, mapabilis ang buhay natin. I like this one because it has no antibiotics, it is organic, it is paleo, no nitrites or nitrates, and it is gluten-free, no added sugar, grain-free, soy-free, non-GMO and zero gram sugar. So this is why binili ko siya and it already has tomato and basil flavor. I got this in Costco. Obviously, this meal is for me and Anika kahit hindi po kumakain ng karne ang asawa ko. He is fully vegan. All right, next up, we're gonna trick Anika and we're gonna use zucchini. We're gonna use marinara sauce. Olive oil or grapeseed oil. I don't use hydrogenated oils. That is not okay for you. So for your oils, you can do avocado oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, okay siya. Tomato paste, and a bunch of seasoning. Parsley. Zucchini. Roasted bell pepper. Herbs and spices, Italian spice, garlic powder with parsley and oregano. Salt and pepper to taste. All right, you guys, so now we have our pre-boiling water here. We are going to cook the pasta and then I have heated up our pan, our saucepan. We are going to add a little bit of oil. We are going to brown the chicken meatballs. We're gonna sear it. And now we are going to cook our pasta. Make sure to add salt sa boiling water nyo para may lasa. And set it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Chickpea pasta, I love it because it has 22 grams of protein, 8 grams of fiber, and 48 grams of carbs. Compared to regular pasta, it only has 13 three, um, of protein, 3 grams of fiber, and it has 71 grams of carbs.
Run some cold water so it stops cooking. You don't want soggy pasta. All right, we are done browning our meatballs. It should look like this. You can see we're gonna transfer it to a plate. Oh. Now we're going to saute the onion, zucchini, and we're gonna make the sauce. Oil, medium to high heat. We're gonna use the same pan. And now we can add the onions. All right, so now we are going to add our meatballs. You can also use lean ground chicken, turkey, lean ground beef, if wala kayong mahanap na meatballs. Really, you can do anything, and if you're plant-based, you can either use lentils to make this um, uh, vegan, right? Or chickpea, pwede din. Or if you'd like to use those faux meats, um, like beefless grounds, um, you can use it as well kung vegan kayo. Alright, so we are just going to mix this. And now you can actually put it on low. Mix it up. And then you can actually season it now according to your taste. So, salt and pepper lang for us. You can kind of gauge it naman, depending sa lasa nyo. But for us, we don't use anything else. We don't add... Um, the seasoning should help elevate the flavors. Alright, salt and pepper. And you can also add like cheese with it if you want. but. Um, Anika hit or miss on cheese sa kanya. Sometimes she likes it. For the most part, she doesn't. <laughs> um, I think my daughter is kind of lactose intolerant because whenever she orders kids' pizza, pag kumakain kami sa labas, she immediately goes to the bathroom after. Timai, but yeah. So I try not to give her too much dairy. And she does use um, plant based dairy. All right, so we are just going to cover this and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. So I did mention that Anika is kind of lactose intolerant. So to give this pasta sauce that cheesy, like more umami flavor, I normally add nutritional yeast. Um, nutritional yeast seasoning, can you see this? Yeah, so this one has um, vitamin B12, Troy can have this as well, and you can have this, you can include this on your salad, top it off on your salads, um, cereals, popcorn, um, smoothies, but I really like this on my pasta, especially if hindi kami gumagamit ng cheese. This gives that texture. So we are just going to add maybe a tablespoon or two. Uh, that should be fine. And just mix it and just let it simmer. All right, so while we are waiting for the meatballs, I can give you guys some tips on how to start your health journey and also how to incorporate more vegetables into your daily diet. Para naman kumain yung kids mo, di ba, ng vegetables. Honestly, this is probably the hardest part for us parents because we want our kids to eat healthier as well, right? Especially kung tayo growing up, we weren't taught how to eat properly. And if we are struggling with that as an adult, then we want the best for our kids, right? So honestly, don't say, just do and just show don't tell them what to do because kids won't 
normally follow what you say. They follow what you do. So if they kita nila kayo, if they see you eating fruits rather than a processed food, right? For snacks, if you're eating apples with peanut butter rather than crackers with peanut butter, they were more likely, they're more likely to copy you. Because if you tell them like, oh, don't eat that, but you're eating it, then it's kind of hypocritical on our side. And I am guilty of that, moms, because I do that myself. I want my daughter to eat healthier, but then here I am eating bread with Nutella and I want her to eat her apples with um, something else. Although, one thing about Anika is that she's very good with consuming fruits. Sometimes, she gets picky with her vegetables, like I said with uh, I said with zucchini. So yeah, just show your kids. What you can also do is cook with them, right? Bring the entire family. It's a family affair. You want to include everyone else around you. Your husband, your parents, if you want them to eat better. Because it's so hard to start this journey on your own. So invite them, find a recipe, an easy recipe, or you guys can make this at home. Have a healthier version rather than put all the additives and things like that. Opt for leaner protein when you, you, cook, you cook your food. It doesn't matter if you are plant-based, paleo, or whatnot. Do what works best for your family. Ko anong kasha sa budget nyo but up for lean leaner proteins like chicken breast instead of chicken thighs right um for ground turkey or ground chicken up for the leaner version right not here at least here in texas or in america i should say we have the 99 percent lean ground turkey so we have that option if you're in manila it's kind of harder but just opt for that. For fish, I like salmon. You can have filleted um, tilapia. For vegans, you can also have some um, firm tofu, lentils, chickpeas. There's a lot that you can use. And when you consume like chickpeas, because it's also high in carbs, like lentils, then that's the time you actually add more veggies rather than, I know we love to eat, um, I love to eat, lentil soup or curried lentil with rice but lentils itself is already dense enough so what i would do is add more lean protein to it like uh, grilled salmon grilled chicken and i'll have a side salad so that's how you can or incorporate adding more plants into your diet um when you eat your lunch um sandwiches instead of fries opt for a side salad honestly or grilled vegetables if you don't like salads it has a lot of micronutrients that our bodies need so we can perform optimally right and lastly i would say try to not buy mostly boxed foods when you do your grocery shopping look at your list if 80 percent of your list is mostly processed meals then you're gonna have to start eliminating that and replacing it with fresh foods that's it you guys that's I guess that's all that you can do to start with. I hope you found this really helpful. All right, you guys, this is it. Taste test na natin tong chicken meatball pasta. Mmm. So good. Try a little bit of the chicken. Mm. All right, that is it for this video, you guys. Let me know kung ginawa niyo tong recipe na to. Um, tag me, and uh, if you guys have any suggestions, comments, or whatever, let me know. Put them in the drop box below. Um, I will see you guys again next week. Thank you so much for supporting. Mahal ko kayo. Mwah.